All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wabrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? Let's jump into it. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and verse 18. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Through him is speaking of Yahweh Shai, who the world will call Jesus Christ. Through him going to that cross, through him enduring and going to that cross, he defeated death. Him going to that cross, he brought us back to the Heavenly Father. Okay, he was that sacrificial lamb. He was that perfect offering. Verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the power. So at one time, we were all in the world living as the Gentile. We didn't even acknowledge that we were Israelites. And here it is. In today's time, most Israelites don't even come out of the land of Israel. So when it comes to our homeland, we're strangers and foreigners to our own land. Nevertheless, we are the Lord's people and we've been um, basically rec reconciled. We've been brought back through Yahweh Shai. So now we are of the household of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai once again. People always want to look for carnal and tangible things. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai right now is currently building up a spiritual church, a spiritual temple. When people see us out there teaching, they look at us as if, well, what could they know? They're not even in a church building. But little do they know, the true church are the believers. And you're not going to find anywhere in the Bible where any of the prophet, <laughs> any of the prophets, excuse me, were wearing suits and ties and Stacy Adams. OK, but this world will see someone with a church building, a suit, tie Stacy Adams and see them as a prophet, a man of God, a preacher. Anyway, so the the saints are Israelites and I'm approved that. Let's read verse 19 again. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints of the household of God. Thanks to Yahweh Shai, we've been brought back to Yahweh. Okay. So let's go to Psalms chapter 148. And the uh, last verse, it reads, He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So the Israelites are the saints. OK, we had to be brought back. Through Yahweh Shai. To Yahweh. OK, that connection was severed for a while. There was basically like a hedge there. OK, so if Yahweh Shai didn't go to that cross. There would be a hedge between us and the Heavenly Father. Really, we would be doing all this in vain if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai going to that cross. But Yahweh Shai went back to that cross, allowing us to come back to the Heavenly Father. And he acknowledging us as his people again. OK, now we're of that household again. And we ourselves make up that household. We make up that church. Us believers. He also exalted the horn of his people being Israelites. The praise of all his saints being Israelites. 
even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. So the Israelites are near unto Yahweh again because of Yahweh Shai going to that cross. At one time, we were casted away. We didn't have this truth. We were calling ourselves by the names of our, you know, the, the names our oppressors gave us. Okay. But now we're turning back to being Israelites. Okay. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 20. And verse five. Remember, it says in uh, Psalms 148 and 14, how. The Israelites are a people near unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So this is Ezekiel 20 and verse 5. And say unto them, thus saith the Lord power. In the day when I chose Israel and lifted up mine hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt, when I lifted up mine hand unto them, saying, I am the Lord your power. So the Lord made himself known unto us in the land of Egypt. That's why it tells us how the children of Israel are a people near unto the Lord. Because the Lord actually made himself known unto us. Going back to the time when we were in Egypt. And now we're in modern day Egypt again. So we are the Lord's people. And we make up that spiritual house. Okay. Let's go to 1 Peter's chapter 2 and verse 5. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the power by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So each one of us brothers, each one of us believers, we make up a stone that is building up this spiritual church, this spiritual house. And we are lively stones. We're not of the dead. Okay, we don't walk around with that pathetic, mopey loser attitude, man. Even though we catch hell, we go through afflictions, we walk around like we already are the kings of the earth because we have the spirit in us. And if you have this word, you are full of the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So each one of us brothers make up a stone. And it says lively stones because we're not literal stones. Okay? It's speaking of stones in a sense of parabolically, we are compared to a stone, each one of us brothers. And when you put all the stones together, it builds or completes the church. Okay? As a whole, 144,000 building blocks. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Going out on the highways and byways is a spiritual sacrifice. Doing these videos is a spiritual sacrifice. Casting off the works of the flesh is a spiritual sacrifice. Okay, here it is we're young men for a lot of us. We're in our prime. And for the men who are older, they started off as young men just like us. That's a spiritual sacrifice. Okay? Acceptable to the power by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Because it was through Yahweh Shai that we became accepted. Okay? That's why it says in Ephesians 2 and 18, For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. So through Yahweh Shai going to that cross, we've been accepted back to Yahweh. So Kahala Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for that. Let's go to Mark. Also showing you the importance of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Anybody saying he's just a man? Fuck you. Okay? Straight like that. He's a very great man. There is no other man as great as him in the whole entire universe, man. There is no one above him but Yahweh himself. This is Mark chapter 7 and verse 26. Uh, matter of fact, it might be Matthew's. Let me see here. Let 
Matthew's chapter 7 and 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And remember, each one of us is a building block. So if a man is claiming to be in this ministry, but his doctrine is off, he's not walking according to what the scripture says. He is like a foolish man who is building upon sand. Basically, he, he is like a person who has no foundation. He doesn't have Yahweh shot. Verse 27, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it flew and great was the fall of it. So if you're not of the Lord's house, you will fall. And the heathens in the spirit, they know that the heathens in reality, they want to be a part of this. And that's why there is hatred towards us. That's why there is animosity towards us. When it comes to the relationship of Jacob and Esau, Esau basically hates his brother so much because he's jealous of his brother. OK, he's so envious of his brother. He has a hatred towards his brother, even with having more than his brother being given the world. He still has a jealousy and a hatred towards his brother, starting with the elites. The elites know that we have the birthright. OK, and these heathens, they wish they could be a part of this, but they can't. Let's leave it off with this, man. This is only about, you know, the Israelites. This isn't about every single person on earth. It's not even about all Israel. The believers make up the household of God. The believers make up the saints. All right. So you can be an Israelite. But if you bugged out of your mind right now, you don't matter at this point of time. Ezra chapter four and verse one. Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord power of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel, who was an Israelite, and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your power as you do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Asher Haddon, king of Asher, basically is another way of saying Assyria, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our power, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. So just as with this physical temple, we are building a spiritual temple. And this spiritual temple has no doing with you heathen. You are not a part of this. You can't build because you are not a part of this. Okay? This is only about Israel. That's all it's ever been. The only way you are welcome into the house of the Lord is if you are an Israelite. And then on top of that, you have to be an Israelite who believes in the doctrine, the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai. OK. So we make up that temple and any time you hear brothers bringing out these lessons and you yourself are a believer. OK, you are attending church. So welcome to the house of the Lord. Each one of us make up a building block. Each one of us believers, starting with the 144,000, of course, which is all men. And we hope to be a part of that number for us men who are believers. So let's go on ahead and wrap it up there. I'm going to close it and give all thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. Until my next lesson, Shalom.